Charles, it's so good to meet you. You must be so proud of your son. Tell me more about your plans and your thoughts and your wishes for him. I guess for, for Zach, um, you know, um, as long as he's doing you know, uh, stuff that he likes to do, I think that's the key. I mean, become, that's how to become a good parent is if they, you know, they, they enjoy themselves, uh, enjoy their life, and that's, I think that's the key. And of course, hopefully that in, you know, in the uh, future, um, you know, money can only make so much, but you know, if he can influence a lot of people, um, I think it's important. Um, you know, for, for Zach, he's, um, um, you know, he, but he, you know, he played the instrument too, uh, the piano. So he's got the uh, diploma at the London College of Music. So he already can, uh, you know, um, influence a lot of kids. That you know, music actually helped hockey. Uh, you know, that's um, uh, when when they were young, they didn't know about. But you know, I kind of emphasis on that. And, and later on, I think when they were about eight years old, they they both told us that uh, it's true because the rhythm of the game. So yeah, so when they go to the puck, they won't just go 100% to the puck. They'll they'll go with the Rhythm, right? And the second is, I think they found out when they're 13 that the, um, the soft hand, uh, the piano really helps the soft hand. So when they uh, do the soft hand, like head to the puck, because they practice piano like well, one one hour, one and a half hours a day. So for like you know, since four years old, so now you know the the finger is small. That's right. And you mobile. keep passing with soft hands. Yeah. You know, you won't lose any momentum. Right. Right. I, I think I think um, you know by doing that you're already helping a lot of kids if you can inspire other kids that you know don't not just the sports but you can also do music as well and it's all helping each other so you know as, as I said hopefully he can use a lot of people and help other um, you know parents or, 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 or um, little hockey players can how to develop I think that's the important of what I wish him, he can do yeah. well you know I, I, you know, I'm I'm very impressed because, as you know, Brandon Yipley is a really and uh, he is a excellent role model also. And, and he worked very hard to become a lawyer at Boston University. He under a scholarship fund. He still really worked hard. He got his degree. And now he's a hockey player. Yeah. So I think now the choices for the younger people are wider, better now. Exactly. And they're uh, embracing it. Right. Proper way. Yeah. Now this will show to the rest of his uh, uh, contemporaries right, right. Uh, uh, that um, opportunities are out there. Like, right. Exactly. And, and go look for it. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Like, and don't think in the box. Get out of the box. Let's see, because right, you're, you're right. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. You have to think out of the box. Exactly. Uh, I think what what the, the, just like Brandon, what you know, he inspired kids is like. Yeah, yeah. It's not like, and not just the kids. It's no. the, the key is the parents. Yeah, right. I, I think for uh, for uh, for us, you know, for the Asians, usually you know, um, I guess back in the old days that they think that you know, uh, play sports is it will affect your your uh, your grade, it will affect your schooling, but actually. Statistics show that it's not. Right? It, you know, it's the top executive in U.S. Majority are playing high-level sports. Yeah. So um, I think we have to let them know that no, it's not the case. You, you know, it, it could be like Brandon. You, you know, you could be a lawyer and a hockey player. That's right. You right? can be a lawyer after. After. You know, it, it, you know, just like, like that. I think that really helps uh, uh, um, the mentality of the, of the, the parents to change. Yeah. Um, just like university now, right? You have to uh, basically do. Um, you have to be all around student. Yeah, all around student. You have to do sports better. You, know, you can do sports to get used to uh, dealing with people and do charity work and volunteer work. So you know, it, it's, it's not just study. So I think uh, it's good to get that you know uh, message out to, to a lot of parents, right? Yeah. Wonderful. Thank you so much. That's yeah. wonderful. Yeah. You're going to get a copy of the interview. I'm going to post some oh. of it. <laughs> but, but I think, I think um, um, myself, I'm, I'm also uh, in, uh, in the Olympic, uh, Winter Olympic. I was, I was the one who was doing the, the, uh, the television at Channel 8. Really? Yeah, so oh. I, did, I did the uh, accommodating everyday news. Nice. So, wonderful. Um, so uh, again, I like to um, get the television to help you know, to, to let people know how, like, how to watch. That's great. 
I think a lot of people, like especially for new immigrants, um, they, they, I think the best way for them to get used to, I mean, uh, to to eat, to, um, um, to, to to get familiar with Canada, um, uh, to build up friendship with the co-worker quickly is hockey, right? Because the you know, majority because they don't speak the language. Um, so when they go to work, if the co-worker talk hockey, even though they don't speak uh, a lot of English, they still can talk hockey. That's true. Right? So if you use this as a common language, uh, it, it's easier for them you know, to, to, uh, you know, to, to get used to Canada and, you know, and, and build up that relationship with the Canadian. That is so true. That yeah. is so true. Well, hockey is, is true. Well, great. Well, hockey definitely runs in your family for sure. Yeah. <laughs> and of course, the best of luck for Zach. And we're all going to be rooting for him. He's going to be our role model. <laughs> trying to, still learning. Of course, I know. We're always learning, but thank you so much. Yeah, thank, thank you. you.